Hello, good morning viewers. Let us find a solution to this set theory question that involves Venn diagram. The question reads, in a school of 160 students, 75 of these students have pencils, while 87 of them have books, and 93 of them have rulers. 25 of the students have both pencils and books, while 30 of them have both pencils and rulers, while 47 of the students have both books and rulers. The question stated that every student has at least one of the three items. Question 1, we are asked to draw a Venn diagram to illustrate this information, while the second question asks us to find the number of students that have pencil only. I have already constructed my Venn diagram where we have three cells because we are talking about three items. And I have already declared the three items as P, B, and R, where P stands for pencils, B stands for books, and R stands for rulers. And before we begin putting our information here, let us write our data. The first one we need to start with is the universal set. That is the number of students in that school. From the question, it stated that they are 160. Among these 160 students, 75 of them have pencils. So let me write that one. So number of students that have pencil, they are 75 in number. 87 students have books. 87 students have books. 93 have rulers. 93 have rulers. Twenty-five students have both pencils and books. Here we are talking about the intersection between P and B, that is pencils and books. So we have number of pencils and books, talking about the number of students, they are twenty-five. 30 students have both pencils and rulers. So P intersection R, they are 30 in number. And the last statement here, it stated that 47 students have both books and rulers. This is also an intersection between number of students that have books and also have rulers at the same time. So we have intersection between B and R. They are 47 in number. All right, I think I have copied everything. Let me start plugging our data. As always, if you want to insert information into Venn diagram, always start with the center here, right here. And this is the intersection between the three sets. And it is not given from the question. And therefore, we can declare it with something else, like a variable A, B, C, D, anything. Since it is not given, let me write it here. Number of the intersection between P, R, and B. Let me call it X. So I can boldly write it here as X. Again, after dealing with the center, you go sideways. I will deal with this, this, and this. Then finally, this, this, and this. Before we insert this number, let me show you something. Not that the whole of this region among these two cells is nothing but an intersection between P and B. But we do not want this. We only need this. Therefore, we have to take away X from the combination of P intersection B. And from the question, we are given that P intersection B is 25. So 25 minus X will be exactly here. But how can we write it in certain notation? In certain notation, it can be written as P intersection B intersection R complement. Why do we write R complement? Because we don't want anything that has to do with R. You see, R is this red cycle, and it is part of X, therefore we are going to take it away. 
So P intersection B, but not R. We are looking for the number. This is equal to, this is given from the question as 25. So we have 25 take away X. So let me write it here as well. 25 take away X. Coming here, we are going to do the same thing. We take P intersection R intersection B complement. This means that we don't want anything that has to do with B. So P intersection R and not B. We are looking for the number of students there. P intersection R is given from the question as 30. So we say 30 take away X, which I can also write here, 30 minus X. And here also is an intersection between B and R and not P. B intersection R and not P. B intersection R is given from the question as 47. So we say 47, take away X. 47 minus X. Then finally, I can go into the other three cells. Let me start with P. One thing you should observe here is that every portion covered by the black ring is part of P. But we need only this portion Therefore, we have to take away this, this, and this. But P from the question is 75. Therefore, we say 75 minus 25 minus X minus X minus 30 minus X. But how can we write it in certain notation? To write it in certain notation, it is the same thing as saying P intersection R union B complement. Let me show you. R union B. This is R union B. Every portion that has to do with B and R. This is union. But complement, it means we should take it away. Therefore, we need only this region right here. P intersection B union R complement. We need the number. This is equal to from the question P is 75. So we have 75. Take away all of these three items. Let me start with 25 minus X. 25 minus X plus the middle one is X plus the other one, which is 30 minus X. So let me simplify this. Um, from here, you can see X will cancel X because one is negative and the other one is positive. 25 plus 30 is 55. So we have 55 minus X under the bracket. So we have uh, 75 minus, I can write it directly, 55. The minus minus is plus X. This is finally 20 plus X because 75 minus 55 is 20. So I can write it as 20 plus X. 20 plus X. Then let me move down here. We do the same thing. R intersection P union B complement. R intersection P union B complement. This is equal to number of students that have rulers. Let me see. They are 93. So we have 93. Take away all other cells around. We have 1, 2, 3. Let me start with 30 minus X plus X. 30 minus X plus X. Then the last one, 47 minus X. 47 minus X. 
this cancel this 30 plus 47 is 77 so this is equal to 93 minus 77 minus minus is plus so we have plus x 93 minus 77 is 16 so we have 16 plus x so I can write 16 plus x here then finally we move down here which is B intersection P union R complement we have B intersection P union R complement Number of students have books. Let me see how many are they? They are 87 in number. We have 87. Take away all the three cells around. We have them as 25 minus X, X and 47 minus X. 25 minus X plus X plus 47 minus X x cancel x 25 plus uh, 47 is 72 so this is 87 minus 72 minus minus is plus x and 87 minus 72 is 15 finally we have 15 plus x 15 plus x so we have just answered the first question which stated that we should insert all the information in the Venn diagram. So let me consider this as question number one, answered. But the second question said that um, we should find the number of students that have pencil only. Before we could find the number of students that have pencils only, we need to find two things. The first one is to find the value of this x. And secondly, we have to identify that portion. First of all, this is pencil. Everywhere covered by the black cycle is under pencil. But for pencils only, we need only this region. Because here you can see we have pencil with an intersection of books. Here we have intersection of um, rulers. And here we have the three intersections. So we need only that portion that has no any kind of intersection, which is 20 plus x. But we need to find x first. To find x, we have to find the union between these three sets. We have to join them together to find uh, the value of x. We know that the union between these three sets, P union R union B, we are talking about the numbers, will give us 160 students. But what is P? What is R and what is B? We are going to add all of them together. To get the union between these three sets, we have to add this, 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 all of these cells together. So let me start with 20 plus X, then we say plus 25 minus X, plus 30 minus X plus X, plus 15 plus X, plus 47 minus X, and finally plus 16 plus X. And we have to set everything to be equal to 160. Let us perform a cancellation first. Plus x minus x has gone. Minus x plus x has gone. Minus x plus x has gone. We have only single x here. So now let us add the terms together. 20 plus 25 is 45. 45 plus 30 is 75. 75 plus 15 is 90. 90 plus 47 is 137. 137 plus 16 is 153. So we have to the left 153. Then plus, this is the only variable we have left, which is x. And to the right, we have 160. To find the value of x, we subtract 153 from both sides. x is equal to 160 minus 153 
and finally you can see that x is equal to 7. So if x is equal to 7, to solve question number 2, all we have to do is to add 7 to 20. Therefore, the number of students that have pencil only, they are 20 plus x, which is equal to 20 plus 7. And finally, this is equal to 27. So 27 students have only pencil. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.